good fam welcome back to tamara and zonay's Royal channel if you're new welcome welcome if you're already subscribed you're welcome back welcome back it's that time of the month thank you for tuning in to motivation 101 today we are going to be talking about she doesn't even know the topic we're going to be talking about sparing the rod do not spare the rod What's the rod something that you used to beat the child so she she doesn't even know what the rod is because listen people we should have started getting right the child? to beat the child to, sp to spank the child but it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to get physical proverbs 13 and verse 24 beats he that spareth his rod hateth his son but he that loveth him chasteneth him betimes I believe, and this is all my opinion, if by age five, six, you don't have discipline under control with your little ones, then that's going to be a major, major problem. A lot of kids feel like when parents discipline them, they do not love them. If you have to talk to them sternly, if you have to put them in time out, they feel like you don't necessarily love them. But I always say, i rather the kids be upset than I am. And as a matter of fact, they will thank you later. We all have free will. And there is not a manual for parenting. It is a hard job and I feel that because it's hard, many people give up because a lot of people do not like to do hard things. And so parenting is hard. But if we are seeking guidance, from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, from whom all wisdom come, if we're seeking guidance from Him, then we will get an abundance of knowledge in terms of how to parent our children. A lot of times parents may spare the rod out of, oh, this is gonna hurt my child. That's the goal. They should be hurt not necessarily physically they should sit and reflect on the behavior just so that it will not happen again so when i say they should be hurt i don't mean physically they should do something that is out of line and know that okay that was the wrong choice i made a wrong choice i made a wrong decision and so the punishment that you're going to administer will help them to reflect. As parents, they, we must set rules. And, and these rules will go with our children. And you're, when you're disciplining your child, you are disciplining your child in love. We never act out of emotion, and I know that for sure. But at all times, if you possibly can, try not to act when you're upset when you're upset that's when we tend to do things that we we later regret so the same way in which you want someone to extend mercy to you you also want to be very merciful extend an abundance of grace and mercy to your own children but i promise you if at a very early age in my culture we say you bend the tree from its young because when it gets older there's not much that you can do so you train up your child you teach your children good behavior when they go into public they're not embarrassing you i've seen so many kids normal kids and i, and I know we have children with the, the special needs and whatnot so i'm not talking about those children i'm talking about normal kids like zone who will go out and throw a tantrum just because the parent says no you cannot have this that is not just a kid throwing a tantrum in the store. That is, mom didn't deal with it at home. So we must put consequences in place. So if you act a certain way, this is what's ultimately going to happen. It is our job to make sure that you are constantly reminding. And your first, if your first thing to do is to like slap the child, that's that shouldn't be your first move. If the first thing to do is slap the child, you've not try everything else there is but you want to make sure that while you are parenting you're getting all these in before the child gets to a certain age when the child gets 
past five and six, in my opinion, it has done gone through the gate. That ship has already sailed. So you've got to now be trying other things, which is going to make parenting even more difficult for you. So we need to stop trying to be our children's friend. It is parent first. There's nothing wrong with being your child's friend later, but you have got to be a parent first. Like you're causing your own chaos, creating your own storm, and then gets upset when it rains. Withhold not correction from the child, for if thou beatest, beatest him with the rod, he shall not. He shall not die. And if this child is yours, you are going to be disciplining your child with love. So what this scripture is saying, if you have to correct the child, correct the child. He's not going to die. So some parents, like in America, they they have it a way where you cannot hit the child. And if you hit the child, the child calls the cops, blah, blah, blah. My children, my household know the only time you call the cops in here is if there's a fire or if someone is breaking in rules are set as parents you live by example you cannot be telling the kids one thing and then you are not living by example so you are supposed to be their example so what this scripture is saying is that do not withhold the correction so the correction doesn't necessarily have to be the rod however you choose to correct the child so be it time out go in a corner sit down be, you, no device for a whole month. No device for a whole it's month. Just for so stressful. <laughs> <laughs> Whether the kid is gonna be grounded or if you choose to use the rod, whatever your style is, you've got to administer it and you've gotta stick to it. Do not fall for the puppy dog eyes. Right, so you don't fall for stuff like that because if you fall for stuff like that, that's what's gonna lead to problems later. And then the child is not learning all the values that they're supposed to be learning. And then they later become a nuisance to other people. So we don't want that. Our goal as parents is to raise up children who can be good adults, who can function in society with other Am people. I be a good adult? You're supposed to, you are getting the training. You are getting the training. There is nothing new under the sun so if you find that you have to be talking about the same behavior over and over again pick a pick a story in here there are stories in here about lying there are stories in here about stealing there's nothing new under the sun so you pick a story from in here and you have the child read it you read it together and you teach a whole lesson from that but just let your child know that negative behaviors will result in you getting a consequence. Now what the, that consequence is, it depends on you. Now as a parent, you have these rules in place in your home because as a society, everywhere you go, there are rules and there are consequences if we break the rules. The stoplights are implemented. I mean, not only could you go to jail, but you could hurt other people. If you, if, if the light is red and you decide, oh, I cannot be bothered to stop, I'm just gonna go, you could hurt someone. So- And you could hurt yourself. If the rod and reproof give wisdom, but a child left to himself bringeth his mother to shame. As you're disciplined and using your words and you're disciplined and using um, the rod, whether it be a timeout or whether it be the grounding or however you choose to discipline when you do that the goal of that is to make the child smarter is to make is to give the child wisdom oh i should not have done that if i do that this is what's going to happen now the little rules that you create in your home will help your child to function as they go to school as they go to work um, on play dates, as they get older and they, they go out into society because you as a parent will not always be here. So our job as parents is to do the best that we can in training up the child in the way they should go. So we want to make sure that we are living by example. We are disciplining in words and in deeds and try not to act 
when you're in an emotional state. Thank you guys for tuning in to Motivation 101. We appreciate your time every single time. What do we say, Sam? Thank you for watching this video. Remember. Wait. So if you've not seen our other motivation videos, and if you've not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm sure you'll find a variety of content on here that you can enjoy. And you can also watch my channel. It's an accent. It lets that E sounds like an A. Anyway, what do we say? Thank you for watching this video. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. <laughs>